Let's see what the fuck is up. Track number one from Ugly is Beautiful. Me, myself, and I. Oliver Tree. So far, this this is a an intro track that just hits the fucking pedal and doesn't really stop. Um, I had to kind of like catch my like train of thought, my footing real quick to even make a comment because uh, this thing is just uh, a train that y it's like oh you're, you get be at the station at two p.m. But by the way, the train doesn't actually stop. You just have to like jump onto the train. That's pretty much what we're doing so far uh, to begin this this project, his debut album. And uh, from that perspective, I respect it. I like it. Um, this is also uh, you know all the the rock influence that Oliver Tree brings into his music. Um, it never really feels out of out of touch um and as far as this being like an intro song that leans into those type of tones um i'm liking it a lot man this guy is talented uh and again this is all he needs is to make all the new tracks sound equally catchy and equally as satisfying as this intro track and he's going to be perfectly fine perfectly fine Oliver performs too with a full band, so it kind of makes sense. This song would definitely lean in and uh, complement that experience uh, in a live setting once we can get back to those type of uh, scenarios in the real life world post COVID 19. <laughs> As far again as an intro track goes, Me, Myself, and I does the job. It definitely gets you on board for this ride, even though there really is no buildup. There really is no hand-holding so far. Uh, he's just saying, let's get on this ride. Let's get this going because uh, you already know that uh, this train, this metaphorical train that we are riding on, uh, being this album, is, is already late getting to the station so there's no time to stop just hop the fuck on and we're gonna have a good time and uh as long as he maintains that again maintaining this is so key because um as far as i'm concerned when you're looking at a track list that's 14 tracks and you know six to seven of them are are decent to good songs i don't see how you can't you have to hit, you have to fucking get bass hits to doubles to home runs with these other eight tracks for people to be satisfied in the sense that they have possibly played out all the great songs already on this album. So um, as far as the main fans really replaying this, that's why this this maintaining thing is so crucial. So, so, so crucial. Um, but again, so far, me, myself, and I does the trick, gets it done, moving on.